Instrumentation is, is really important. You know, I bring students into my lab all the time and they're really amazed, obviously, by the technology, by the magnets, the mass spectrometers, the microscopes. Um, they're also, I think, you know, truly amazed that we can take measurements at the micron scale in a single crystal and, and apply those to problems that are planet-wide, um, climate, tectonics, volcanology. Um, so the technology is, you know, facilitates that. We have really deep relationships with uh, technology providers, scientific instrumentation makers that go back decades. Um, they have really helped us to be able to make more precise measurements, as, as you say. That helps us to understand that timeline of Earth history much more um, highly resolved. Uh, but they also let us map uh, different parameters at the crystal scale. Um, they let us integrate different types of data, and that's really the forefront right now, is not only telling time, but integrating that with physical and chemical characteristics that really let us unpack the whole Earth system that we're interested in studying. We're all time travelers, right? As Earth scientists, that's what we do. Um, geochronology, maybe it's more you know, in, our, in our DNA that, that we want to tell time. Um, let's be honest, Earth systems are complex. And to understand that complexity, to unravel it, uh, one thing we all have is time's arrow. We, we know the direction of time, and if we can uh, use time to, to put a, a, a stamp on a process, or even better, to understand the rate of a process, we can take that and apply it from the modern to the ancient. So um, geochronology bridges all of the disciplines because we, we all want to understand the, the, complex, the complex systems and, and, and pull them apart in, in a way that, that time gives us a unique perspective for.